Hi everyone, this is Catherine and in this video I wanted to talk about the links uh, settings inside your dashboard and the reason that I always include uh, links or outgoing links in my sidebar is because again the search engines find that this is really great because they think that you are more sociable and you are uh, sharing your own content around the web and you're also not afraid to give your visitors what they want and that is all things to do with the topic of your website so this will obviously in cases um, include other people's websites that would be helpful to your visitor so some people say well you know I don't want to do this because you know I'm losing visitors off my site they, they'll go clicking on the um, sidebar links and I'll lose them forever but the point is that the search engines really do favor this and so it is worth your while to do it for not only your visitors but also for um, you to be able to gain trust of the search engines so let's move ahead and I will show you how to do this log in to your site and under your dashboard scroll down to links click on links and go to link categories here and what you'll find is in the beginning the default setting will show blog role now it is a blog role but we want to um, name it something that is more keyword um, rich and something that is a lot more optimized for your site so we will click edit and because the site in this instant was called Pinterest marketing tutorial I might call it Pinterest resources and always delete the slug because then it will automatically default to Pinterest resources and that's what we want then update and now you will see that it has changed when you hover over um, here is where you will always be able to edit but now you will see that it has changed to Pinterest resources and at the moment you can see we have seven links included in here we won't want those they are already being generated by the system we want our own links um, I've just explained why so we will come back again under links click on that tab and you can see now that the category all of these are in isn't blog roll anymore it is Pinterest resources what I just named it so we don't really I mean you can keep some of these if you prefer to um, and edit them but I generally do not select name and they will all be checked and then you can do a bulk action of delete and apply and that will remove all the links seven links deleted so now having done that you will want to add new so scroll up to the top and hit add new and this is what you will do with each and every link that you create now and I usually like to create at least six links again this is just a general um, formula that I use you can use more than that sometimes I do use more than that depending on my site and what I'm doing with it so how we want to create our links is by giving visitors something that is useful to them and more importantly something in this case that um, is very search engine friendly and that will mean linking out and creating these outbound links that are uh, to sites that are highly relevant to what your site is about so if it's to do with dog training then only include links that are to do with dog training it might be you know slightly uh, slightly changed like it might be Labrador training or 
and dog allergies or something like that but always have it related to the keywords that are on your site and in your title and your description so now let's go ahead and search Google for some sites we can link out to now obviously the first one that springs to mind will be Pinterest So you want to grab the URL which I have just done, copy and paste that into where it says your web address. So there is it and think of keywords that people may be searching for and that is relevant to your to your um, keywords that you're going to be using on your site and then once you've done those two things you can just click on add link over here on the right hand side now the other thing I wanted to explain to you was in this tutorial was inside your dashboard scroll down to posts you can click on that or you can come across here whichever you prefer and go to categories now if you are just building a small site then you can just stick to one category that's fine um, if you're starting to build a larger site over time then you can slowly add more categories here that's fine you can add um, even quite a few categories to start with but this will be the first category that's by default in the system and obviously again we want to call it a optimized um, name relevant to our site not uncategorized so come in ho hover over uncategorized and click on edit So this will appear in the sidebar later on when we configure the sidebar. So we could call this Pinterest Marketing Guide. You can come back and change this at any time you like and hit update. Oh, I did forget to delete the slug that's also important because we don't want it stuck on uncategorized so we'll come back in here and you click on edit you can do a quick edit but for this example I'll just do it this way delete the slug and update and again it's a lot more the slug now again what we're talking about is a lot more optimized and you have your category name as this here and at the moment there is it's showing that there's one post there and that will be just the default hello world which again we will change in another uh, video tutorial so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this bye guys